There are many, many different ways to make an espresso-based coffee. Sometimes it's so hard to keep up because more and more are being created each day. I'm Ryan from Coffee Beans Delivered, and today I'm gonna teach you about most of the fundamental coffees that you can make with espresso coffee. Firstly, this is the espresso shot that is the basis of all the espresso made coffees. It's also called a short black. Add a slice of lemon to it and you've got a Romano. Pour it over a scoop of ice cream and you have yourself an affogato. Add some hot water to it and you've got yourself an Americano or a long black. However, I prefer it the other way around where you put the water on first and you let the syrupy coffee cover the surface. But essentially, they're the same thing. When we talk about standard milk coffees, we're referring to one cup of milk, which is about 240 mils or eight ounces, and one shot of espresso, which is about 30 to 35 mils of espresso. So that's nine parts of milk and one part espresso. If you need to make it stronger, then you add in a double shot of coffee, and if you need to go larger with more milk, you also wanna add more coffee. The most popular coffees that people will drink are cappuccinos, lattes, and flat whites. And they all have a shot of coffee with the milk on top. These are essentially identical, with the only difference being the amount of microfoam on top, that little layer of milk on top, and of course, the chocolate powder on a cappuccino. The name cappuccino comes from the cappuccine monks, or the hooded monks, and it literally means hooded coffee, which is why you notice that the coffee has a little extra milk just to round it off. The latte and the flat white are essentially the same, with the latte having about 10 millimeters of foam on top and the flat white's closer to five mil. However, if you're in Italy, be careful ordering a latte because you might just be served with milk because the correct term in Italian is caffè latte. A mochaccino or mocha is the same as a cappuccino, only that it has chocolate in as well. And the amount of chocolate is totally up to you. If you prefer it chocolatey, then add more chocolate. Rule of thumb is though, add in about a couple of scoops of chocolate powder. A secret tip to getting the best tasting mocha is to first dissolve the chocolate powder into some boiling water, then put the shot in and then the milk. This gets rid of any clumps of chocolate that you might get at the bottom of the cup. A piccolo has a closer ratio of milk to coffee, with there being almost a one-to-one -one ratio. That's one shot of coffee and about the same in milk. A macchiato is one step further in that the coffee ratio is actually higher than the milk. Macchiato means stained in Italian, so you can pretty much just spoon a dab of the milk on top of the espresso. Sometimes you may hear someone ask for a ristretto, and this is actually where you will run a double shot of espresso, but cut the shot shorter than you would usually, which restricts the amount of organic acids and creates a richer, more intense flavor. So there you have the most common coffees that you'll find today. Of course, there's a lot more, but that'll help you at least navigate through the majority of them. I'm Ryde from Coffee Beans Delivered. Enjoy your brew.